All right, this is part two of my first video of the materials I use. Because I obviously left a bunch of stuff out. I don't, yeah, I left a bunch of stuff out. Um, so starting with the basics, I would say, besides the other stuff I mentioned in my last video. Um, yeah, so blow dryer is, is a key thing for customizing. To me, I would rather do the blow dryer technique than the... Um, you could do hot water, cold water, or boil. The people boil water where you boil the water, you stick the figure in it to just disassemble it. I don't prefer that method because I don't, I don't want to deal with a wet figure. I'd rather deal with a blow dryer. And you, they just come in various shapes, shapes and sizes. You don't have to worry about. Um, you don't have to worry about too much when it comes to this. It just gets stuff hot, makes it malleable, so you can pop stuff off and pop stuff on. But yeah, this old faithful right here. She's been kicking around for a while. Yeah, and then you have um, vice grips. These are these are mini needle. I wouldn't say needle nose, but yeah, I guess they are needle nose vice grips from Husky. I um, I got these from Home Depot. I think they were like thirteen bucks. These have been invaluable over the years because they like a lot of stuff you super glue. We'll, I'll talk about super glue in a second. A lot of stuff you super glue. Sometimes you have to hold it because the surfaces are are uh, flat against each other. And these are perfect for that because you can adjust the you can adjust the mouth on these and everything so you can go No matter what size it is like if you want to hold something It'll pinch it and then it'll um, it'll squeeze and just hold it if you don't know what vice grips are Yeah, mini vice grips. These are they, these come in handy um, Super glue I use gorilla glue you can use um, You can use any glue you want. I use gorilla glue um, I have I have Loctite, I have, um, a lot of people use Loctite. It's our preference, really. I've been using Gorilla Glue for years, so I just stick with that. Loctite and the Scotch has a super glue. Don't try the cheaper super glues, I say, if you really want a good one, just spring for the good stuff, because this will last you a while. You shouldn't so you shouldn't be using too much super glue when you super glue stuff anyway. So this should last you a while, and this has a brush tip. This has a brush and a nozzle, and I like the brush more. It has a brush tip and a nozzle tip. And it really comes... The brush comes in handy because you can... Um, sometimes there'll be stuff you can't... Like the nozzle is like too wide or whatever. Or it just brings too much glue. And then you can just brush it. And you can get the smallest amount. And here's a nozzle here. So this has both. I like this one more. I, I used to use the one with just a nozzle. But like I said, the nozzles, they get clogged. A lot of weird little stuff happens to them, and then you have to like swap it and do all kind of kung fu sorcery to get it to work, and it's just ridiculous. Another tool that I found invaluable too, or am I using that word right? Invaluable, valuable, whatever. A uh, drill. Drills are awesome. Also, a Dremel. Dremels are good too. I don't trust myself drilling holes with the Dremel though, so I I prefer a drill. Uh, I have a, what is this, a Roby? I have a Roby, a Ryobi, or whatever. I have one of these, just a hand drill, uh, uh, lithium battery drill, charges in a few hours. I really like this one. I use it for a lot of stuff, especially splitting torsos. This is really good. You can, like I said, you can use a Dremel. Um, I only use a Dremel for sanding or cutting. I don't like drilling holes with Dremels because it's, it's a shaky, <laughs> it's a shaky thing, and I'd rather have a handle on my, I'd rather have a handle and stabilization versus using a Dremel because the Dremel's one-handed and it's, it's, I'm derpy with a Dremel. Um, another thing that I've come to love, these Gundam markers, these things are amazing. You can get these on eBay. I think they have different points to them. This one's a really fine point. Let's see if I can take it off. This one has a really, really fine point. Because if you've ever built Gundam models, these are Gundam markers, which are uh, panel liners pretty much. And I use these for a lot of things. I use them on this Iron Man I did from the uh, was that the Black Panther wave. Iron Man, I panel lined it and it came out amazing. I've I just used this recently on something too. I can't even remember what I panel lined. But I use, I get a lot of questions about this too. Like what do I use to panel line and how do I make my panel lines? This is it right here. And another thing that I use that I'm not good at using right now, um, epoxy sculpt. This is what I use. There's Procreate and then there's this stuff. I hope this is not backwards when I publish it. But there's Procreate and then there's this stuff. It's it's an A and B 
um, A and B, A, B, hardener and uh, the color. So pretty much I use, what is this, white I have? Yeah, I have white. It comes in a bunch of different colors. You get brown, orange, blue, black, a um, bunch of different colors, gray. This is the one I got. I got it from eBay. It was like 22 bucks shipped. I think this is a pound of it too. Yeah, this is 16 ounces of well, eight ounces of each and i barely use the stuff i suck at it it's something i'm gonna have to practice on but i don't want to waste it that's why i don't practice too much because it i've wasted a bunch of it already just doing little stuff but yeah a and b epoxy scope um this stuff sticks to anything it gets hard i'm gonna say as hard as a rock um it's waterproof it's really dope stuff i like it i want to get better at using it so i can use it more and then last but not least, last but certainly not least, my best tool that I own, the best tool that I own, uh, Exacto. Uh, if you don't have one, you should get one. It's an invaluable tool. It's amazing. It does everything you need it to do and cut your fingers. I cut myself bad with one of these before. I actually cut myself with a box cutter. This one cut me open pretty good. And that's what made me get this. Um, I love this thing. It comes with more blades. It comes with extra blades. I like the gold tips or what is it? Exacto gold, I think it's called. Those things are awesome. Like they're to me, they're stronger than the standard. Um, yeah, these are the tools that I use. This is the part two to the other video. I feel like there's still some stuff I left out. So if you feel like there's something you want me to go over. Or something I use. If I remember, I'll make a little quick video about it and show you guys. But yeah, these are the tools that I use when I do my customs. Or if I'm kit bashing mainly, because these are the, most of the tools you use for kit bashing. You would need a, for kit bashing. You would need a blow dryer, uh, pliers. Any type of pliers can work. I just prefer vice grips, uh, exactos to trim stuff, to cut stuff, uh, panel liners. Glue, especially if you're doing customs. Super glue is like, super glue and exactos are the two things you're gonna need the most, I would say, like for starting anyway. And a drill for drilling out torsos or drilling holes or whatever. But yeah, these are my tools. These are what I use on a daily, on all the time. Uh, so just gonna make a part two. And here it is, cause I know I left a bunch of stuff out the first time. I'm not even gonna show you my Dremel cause I don't feel like making all the noise to pull it out. But I have a Dremel as well. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff.